direct us the wrong direction. Okay? Someone is trying really serious to direct, uh, direct us to the wrong direction. I don't know for what reasons, but I will be explaining what I mean by that. So recently, uh, we were with uh, this guy called uh, Peter Kyoi. So I was in my life and then I see Peter Kyoi requesting, uh, that was on TikTok, hey, come, there is something we, we have to discuss. We have to work together. Work together, together towards what? Towards solving this uh, Brian Chiras issue. Then I was like, again? Do you know why I'm saying again? Thank you so much for becoming a member, Romania. Yes, you can become a member on this, uh, on this platform, especially the YouTube. I will really appreciate. And for those who want to support through M-Pesa, if you're okay, I can put the number there and we continue. You support me through M-Pesa, any means, I will really appreciate. That is how we survive as content creators. Now, so there is an issue that uh, Peter Kiyohi, Chesoni, and Gedaiga, sometime later, earlier on, they asked me, if we can join hands and we go and I provide the evidence that I have, I'm good, Edith. I, I provide the evidence towards the DCI so that they can commence an investigation of which I obliged and agreed, like, I'm ready. Let us go. So we were to go, I think it was on a Wednesday, some, was it on a Wednesday? I think it was on a Wednesday. So I went there by, by 10, I was there. Gidega was there by 9. And then he went to the bush and started doing videos. Videos that he was telling TikTokers to the watchdog appears not to be coming. Peter Kyoi was nowhere to be seen. At that moment, Chesoni nowhere to be seen or heard. Okay? It was only Gidega in a bush next to uh, DC High Headquarters doing his videos. So, at that moment, I had uh, my friend called Jemo. I told Jemo, hey, tell this guy we are at the DCI already. Because we agreed to meet at the DCI, not doing videos along Kiambu Road in the bush. Tell him we are here already at the DCI. Okay? But the guy never showed up. So he did a video, oh, to the watchdog, and then the guy left. So I was like, uh, what was the agreement? Was the agreement us meeting outside? You told me that you want, me to meet, uh, you want us to meet at the DCI. I have come. I can't see you. So, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, seriously? We were to meet at the DCI, not along Kiambu Road, somewhere in the bush, telling people, ah, this and that and that and that. No, that was not the argument. Okay? So, I said, uh, what, was the, what was the reason of me coming to meet you, my friend? Why don't you just stop all these jokes? We are meeting at the DCI. It means the DCI. You get in. This year is not on the road. The headquarters is in there. And once you get to the headquarters, you'll find that actually there are a number of... Uh, sorry. Yeah, YouTubers, that is my M-Pesa number. If you, want to, if you want to boost me, you can boost me there. I will really appreciate it. We buy bundles when we are on the way doing those videos and covering up. Uh, and also we use transportation to do these investigations. But to Janza Kupata to Pesa, to let Omana to Nambia to, okay, guys, you know, or it continues. <laughs> And you know, many of the people fear doing, uh, fear some of the people, I'll not say some, some companies are so rotten. So anytime they want to give me, you know, these gigs, I say we have to investigate this to just make sure that our clients don't lose their money and I'm the one who has advertised. So many of them try to sideline me. That's why you find that I don't really do most of the advertisements. But when I do an advertisement, just know that that company is legit and it has nothing to hide. Is that okay? Yeah. So this kadogo kadogo hapa na pari, sisi tunashukuru na tasema tuendele kufanya kazi ya wa Kenya. Let us try to clean our mess. We are the human beings. We are at this age and the previous age, which is a, a little bit above me, we are the ones with this mess. So can we clear this mess for the future generations? That is the purpose of Truth Watchdog. Okay? So, no one came and no one was willing to meet at the DCI. So around 3 p.m., Peter Kyoi gets to, to his life and tells people that I should actually... Headroom, come back. Yes. Ah, is it my headroom? That was Nasumbua. There? Yes. So he goes ahead and says that, that we should meet at the at, at TRM. So I'm like, why are we meeting at TRM? The agreement was in the morning we meet at the DCI. So you guys have changed the, the agreement? I'm already at the DCI, I've done my thing, I have come back home, and you're asking me again to come 
to TRM. And uh, Peter Kyoi was arguing that he will even pay for my Uber. Of course, he knows I, don't, I do not have a vehicle. So I think him mentioning an Uber would really attract me instead of the Matatu. But I said, no. The agreement is we meet at the DCI. I did that. You never showed up. And now you're asking me to come at TRM. And remember this, Peter Kyoi is the same guy who was paid to kill Nyako. He's the same, same guy who was paid to eliminate, I don't know who, uh, in Mombasa. So, and then he was saying that uh, he was given something that you don't need to do anything. You just, you know, apply in the air and then the person uh, sniffs it and then they go, they die. So I was like, I should also meet you. So what if these same, same people are asking uh, for your services? Because apparently every time somebody needs to be killed, you are mentioned. And you are affirm this by saying or telling people that alikuwa nataka niwe, alikuwa nataka niwe. So, mi na kujaje kukumit, na wendi unawaga watu. Hmm? So, wendi unasema unakujiwa uwe uyu, uwe uyu, unakula pesa zao, unakataku uwe. Na watifu kidecide uwe. So, I was like, hey, no, I can't meet you. We were to meet at the DCI. Not here. So that when I dive inside there, you guys will explain what happened to me. So they disappeared and they came blazing. On TikTok, they came calling me all these names. Oh, you are a cloud chaser. You're doing this for views. On TikTok, I have 2.7 billion views. 2.2, not 7. 2.2 billion views. I earned nothing from those views. Truth of the matter is some of you guys on TikTok used to impress me. Some of you used to gift me, and those coins are the ones that I would say I came with those coins. Some of you members here are subscribing to membership on YouTube. Some of you, that is what we earn. But TikTok views does not have any monetary value or reflection. Okay? And PESA is mobile money transfer. Or oh, somebody's asking. YouTube. Oh, on YouTube. And PESA is a, is a way of. Is, is a money transfer. It's just like PayPal. So you can use a... There is a way you send money to us in Kenya. We use a, something called M-Pesa. It's an application that you can send money to me. The only thing you need if you're using maybe SendWave or... There are so many things that you use to send money. Remit. Remit or something of sort. So if you're using them, you just need my name and then the M-Pesa number which I've put there. You're good to go and support. Okay? Yeah. Thank you so much, Esther. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that is what M-Pesa is. M-Pesa is just a... Is, is money transfer from one point to, other, to, to the other. It's a medium of money transfer. Okay. So having the history of these guys ask, asking me to meet at the DCI, then they refuse to show up. Then the next day, Chesoni comes uh, with a very fake account and accuses me of, uh, of texting him, okay? Accuses me of texting him on, uh, on what? Texting him on, 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 on TikTok, telling him that I know who killed, uh, uh, who killed who? I know who killed uh, Brian Chira, blah, blah, blah. It is Faustin, Faustin. And then I was like, Hey, guy, I have never approached you. Never approached you. I have never texted you. But he kept on saying, yes, yes, it is you. This is your band account. Then I was waiting. Okay? I was waiting for him to, to produce that which he says. Uh, I texted him. So when he produced the account, it was a fake account. That is not me. So I produced my, my band account. That was on TikTok. Okay? So the guy was like... Uh, Hey, hey, hey. And that is just the day after they had agreed we are supposed to meet. So when I, I challenged them, it became enmity and uh, some kind of, you know, setup. So I'm like, why are you so much bitter, bro? Why are you producing a fake account? Okay? Telling people that uh, I. Just a minute, guys. Why are you producing this fake account telling people that uh, I tried to reach out to you and told you this is it? Why are you doing this? And you are supposed to be the team 
We were supposed to meet to and do this. What is wrong with you? So after addressing that, the guys went silent. Okay, they insulted me uh, for two, three days, and then they went silent. So upon going silent, I was like, uh, mm, mm. anyway. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Just a minute. Okay, let me give you my Mpesa name. Yes, that is the name that actually online salonist has written. That is the name. I know many of you will not believe until I write my name. Okay, let me write. Thank you so much for those supporting us towards this journey. Okay, that is the name. That is the name that I've posted there. So, I was like, Chesoni, why would you do this? And I have the video here, guys. Let me just check through my account. And I proved him wrong and I showed him, this is not my account. Whatever you're showing people to be my account is not the same. Okay? It's not the same. So stop lying to people. Where is Chesoni? I posted that video. And I told him to stop the nonsense. Oi, videos, Lord, please. Videos, Lord, 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 Lord. Where's the video? Can you please find me that video on... Let me try to find it here. It is on... It's on TikTok. So I was like... This guy is so much. It's too much. Why is he coming with all these lies to just implicate me for something I have not completely done? You know? I had done nothing and you're busy telling people... Why you move, Haji? Where's the TikTok account I had? Oh, Joey. Let me just turn this completely zero. Yes, guys. I want to look for you for that, uh, that video that I'm talking about. When Chesoni was trying to set me up, reasons known to him. Okay? Reasons known to him. And now he also did the same thing to another person today that I want to show you. YouTube, please. YouTube followers, please like this video. I will really appreciate. I will really appreciate. Please like this video. Share the video. Leave a thumbs up. We have to discuss this. Okay? Yeah, these are the videos. So let me just check out. Uh-huh. Chesoni, 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 Chesoni. 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 I did that before I left. Okay. You know, they keep on lying. Uh, Baba Talisha came with lies that I'm supposed to be arrested. They have a court order. I challenged him. Okay. Where is Chesoni? Where's Chesoni's video? Kwa nini kono tu video tudogo hivi? Hii account yiko na video kidogo? Ama what is happening? How many videos do I have guys? Is there supposed to be many? Beware. Anyway. Is the fake fake video? Ah. Is it this one? Ah, this was another fake threat that was happening between. I don't see the video, guys. So, sorry. Eric Omondi. Eric Omondi also, I will expose him with this fake, uh, fake Siju Sisi Kwa Sisi thing. Mwacha kuibia watu.
Mwisho ajiuliza ile commande anatoa api pesa yeye hey, yeye kazi yake ni kuchangia watu. Si hiyo pesa tu yeye mnamtumia kuchanga na kula percentage yake. But people are so naive to think like that. They can't think like that. They are so naive. What is I can't see this video. But this is what Chesoni did. Chesoni came uh, or I could I, I have to check on his video. Let me try to check out Chesoni. Chesoni. Okay? I'm on top that is too much. So Chesoni went ahead and accused me of, of having texted him. I proved to, to the world that I never texted him. I do not have that account and that is not account. Because he was saying like uh, their banned account had 145,000 people and it was banned. Yet my account was banned when it was at 47, 147,000 plus. So this one forty-five of his, where did he get? Did he get it? So that was uh, any time you mention about Babatalisha, they turn against you. Okay, any time you just mention Babatalisha, they turn against you. And that is what exactly Chesoni did. Now, currently, Chesoni came with this uh, picture. Let me let me search for Chesoni so that I can show you. I, I can show you, Paul. Chesoni came with this picture, telling guys that people, excuse me. Uh, there is this person that is using uh, is using Branchira's phone number, and I need your help on this. We need to trace this person. And I was skeptical, like, yeah. Let me just let me just show you guys what I mean, okay? So I'll show the YouTubers, and then I'll show you TikTokers. Just a minute, ah, Facebookers. So this is the image that actually Chesoni, Chesoni underscore Roho underscore Safi, okay? So he comes on, on media and claims that this person is the one using Branchira's number. So he's like, who is this guy? TikTok, please help me identify this person on Chira profile. On Chira profile. So we went and checked and realized there is something fishy here. Something very fishy here. They were planning to fix this old man with another man that I will share with you. On my account so let me show also the Facebook sorry guys you'll have to bear with me that is the guy that Chesoni produced now I want to show you the funny thing uh, Facebook has. so this is the person Chesoni produced claiming that this person has access to Brian Chira's phone number in terms of the M-Pesa and also WhatsApp and he's using the same details but this is a different person so we were like hey wait a minute we have to look into this is this even true then they tried to fix this man again with another different fella of which I want to share with you. And if you check this video, actually it hit up to, the video hit to two, two, 236,000 views. 236,000 views. And this was turning Kenyan's heads to a different direction until I came. Because this is the person apparently they wanted to implicate. To the watchdog. Can I search my name? Oh, watchdog. Watchdog. Okay. Let me search myself and then I show you. So this is this is what they had started. Okay. Okay. This is what had started. Uh, so they had started this. You see, they had started implicating this man. That this is the guy who had appeared on Oga Obina's show. And this is probably the same guy. Because this guy was talking about the mortuary and the things he was doing at the mortuary. So they were implicating this guy wrongly. And instead of telling the, their fans that this is not the same person, they kept quiet. Until I came to explain to people, check the nose. The nose is sharper. This is a round nose. Check even the face. It's much more rounder. This is a box. Okay, look, the eyes are sunken. These eyes are just okay. Look at the ears. Look at the placement of the ear. Look at the chin. Blah, blah, blah. Until I had to stop the propaganda that was started by Chesoni about this old man whom we do not know. Even if you check the age of this person and the age of this other person, it's very different. Let me show the Facebookers as well. Okay, Facebookers, now it's your turn. Okay? Okay? This, this was the case. So Chesoni wanted to implicate this guy, but using this image, just because he's wearing blue, and uh, a little bit of kind of shaving the same. But I showed people, check the nose, check the nose.
Check the eyes. Check the eyes. Even the age. These are two different people. Okay? Because all of them apparently they just appeared on media. This one just did an interview around a week ago. So you can't tell me has grown this old within a few days. Okay? So I had to stop this. This one hit around 54,000 and that that uh, that that rumor mongering stopped at that. Okay, guys? But now something even much more sinister was about to happen. So Chesoni in his conversation, I think I have some of the conversations I want us to listen to. Uh, Philip, 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 Philip. Philip. Did you send me the videos? Mm hmm Search. If not Philip, the other Philip too. Okay, so these are some of the videos we had this conversation. I hope you can hear. Let me just add some uh, audio. Okay, so these are some of the videos we had this conversation. I hope you can hear. Let me just add some. Sorry for the echo. I should have downloaded them earlier. I'm shocked. Nico shocked. Why are you shocked? Why are you shocked? Just don't. Um, I was on my live stream and then somebody goes just to the Chira. Let me show you how I first met with Chira. When I was WhatsApp, I had a profile picture of Mtosi Jui. What? Wait. What is the name of one more? Who goes serious? Number of it, my guy. Nani Achira. So again, remember these guys. Remember these guys had abandoned me earlier when they asked me to go to the DCI. Again, this time round. They come with a different story that Chesoni found a different profile on Brian Chira's number and it is active. And again, I asked myself, once beaten, twice, twice shy. 1844, 18? 18? 1844, 64. <laughs> What? Wait, Araka, Araka, before you really change. When I do work, it's scared to say I'm a summer change. Araka. Wait, you may pick up. Who is that? It's Uras Junior. Nashino, na. Nani? No, you have. Continue. Now, when you may change, you are just a minute on a year. After change. Araka. I want to show you something. Just a minute. So here, Chesoni tells us that the image of the Empesa had changed. So that means somebody was accessing Branchira's phone number and changed the profile picture on the Empesa and also on WhatsApp. So I want to show you something funny. So what you don't realize when when Peter Kyoi showed people the same uh, the same number, this is what happened. So Chesoni was trying to pass, was trying to fix us elsewhere. Look. So this is Peter Kyoi. When Peter Kyoi checked, it was Brian Chiras, the same number, but Chesoni produced this num this picture. This picture of this guy, which of course is this, which I refused. And told Kenyans this is not the same person as this. So this is what Chesoni gave us. Can you see? But here, this is Branchira. Can you see the two? Somebody say a wall and shutter. You can't lie to a raster man. Not that long. Can you see? Guys, please like the video.
You know, this is how I catch these people. And it is not easy. Oh. Yes, for those who are supporting M-Pesa, God bless you. Can you see? Can you see clearly this was a lie? Because this was on M-Pesa, and you can see Peter Kyo's phone, it was on M-Pesa, but his was just a picture. Right? Was just a picture. So that's why I disagreed. I am not going to join Chesoni or Peter Kyoi based on the same. Let me show the Facebookers as well. Facebookers, check here. So this guy says this is the guy on M-Pesa, Yachira. Sendio. Which, of course, I have showed the YouTubers, this is the guy. But when you look closely, from Peter Kyoi, the profile of Branchira is still the same. So where did he get this one? This was, uh, this is why I call it diversion. That is why I called it diversion. So let us continue listening to him. Make sure you have a chira in your Two men pesa come at a collector gina. 07 16 18 18 44 64. 07 16 18. Who is this guy? Who is this okay. guy? Let us let us uh, find any way so that you can wear easy. When you buy in pesa. So if you noticed, it is when they went to look for the image, the two of them, that is when the image changed and it was no longer on M-Pesa. But I said, okay, let us continue. This is true. Which was a lie anyway. The funny thing, the two of them have Branchira's number in the head. When you see how uh, Peter Kyoi was, sorry. When you see how, uh, how Peter Kyoi was, you know, had already mastered the number of someone who had died two months ago, I was like, hey, bro, okay. So he does dial the number and then enters the number. Wow, amazing. Last thing I can tell you this month. Brian Wamboy. Sumona. Guy. You don't need any Now, okay. 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 So this is this is when I was pretending to be so much surprised. Wow, this is this is out of this world. Wow, 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 wow. But I was just, you know, in English, uh, in Swahili we say kupimia watu, kupimia like hey, hey, you know, makes sense. Hey. But I was like, wait, just wait a minute. It is ba but Alicia who said the phone number or the SIM card should be re removed from the phone. So that means. It's only Baba Talisha who knows who has the phone, who has the SIM card, right? It is Baba Talisha who knows. So Chesoni is saying that there is this kind of a person from nowhere and has the phone number of Brian Chira. This makes us get surprised. Like, what do you mean? Relax, what do you mean? Okay? But then we had to continue. But there is a video again that was done earlier on when Chesoni claims that Brian Chira is the wife to Chesoni. This is my this is my baby. This is my wife. And I will be playing that video for you. I will be playing that video for you. Yes. Yes. I... So my question is Amina, if you're my wife, having such details is not good news, right? It is not good news. Is it true? Lebos chick, you're on Facebook, how are you? It is not good news. It is it's what we do as a couple. So that means, if this was your wife, and then there is this strange man who has the details to go even change the profile on M-Pesa, it is you, Chesoni, not this man you're bringing up. 
Does that make sense? Let me play the video. Maybe many of you might think that uh, you are just a hater, bro. You know, you, you, you hate, you know, you just hate and you are a hater and you eat a lot of uh, skuma wiki and you hate. Let me play for you the video. So should I start with YouTube? Let me start with YouTube. Hear him say, this is my wife, not me. And we connect the dots then. Ni <laughs> Baby wangu ndiyo analipa na simi yake kwa huko. Sikiza tena. Huu ndiyo bibi wangu. Ni mama yako amesema? Ni mtoto wako? Ni yanko yako? Ni babu yako? Hapana, ni Chesoni amesema. Ni Chesoni amesema kwamba huyu ni bibi yake na simi yake kwa wapi? Sikizeni tena. Uyo mzee amesikia baby wangu akashtuka akasema umese nini tena sikia sikia mtu wa bot Nani umesikia nani baby wangu akarudia Wanangu Mwanangu Mnataka kusema hapa mimi nadanganya? Mnataka kusema kwamba mimi nimeketi chini hapa ni mwaribie chesoni jina. Eti kwamba nimedanganya. Watu wa Facebook labda mtasema ati yo wewe unaonyesha tu YouTubers check. Anamuita nani tena? Kaitema. Mimi ni Mpesa. Mimi ni Mpesa. Very clearly, okay? So, with that kind of information, I'm tempted to think where were Chesoni ndiyo uko na details za SIM card ya branchira na wendulia kapi opicha. Kwa hivyo kama bibi amekufa na uko na access ya SIM card sasa unatuambia nini? Unatuambia nini? And how come it is only you who then funny thing happens even much more in the same same video. Chesoni says that there is someone who called him and told him during the death of Chira there is someone who called him and told him Chesoni is dead. Someone who called Chesoni and told him Chesoni is dead because apparently Chira was wearing Chesoni's t-shirt. So me, I'm asking myself this. Chesoni, wait. So somebody sees you are dead. Yes, you are dead. And then they call you to tell you they have seen you dead. They got your number and they're calling you Chesoni is dead. Kenyans, how many of you can do that? Hata mkita muiti the dekia, sijui the dekoi. Hata nyini madhedekia tu. Yeah. Or how do you want me to explain this? How do you want me to explain this? Because it's very simple questions. Bro. You said that somebody had changed the, the profile picture of Brian Chira, yes. And this is M-Pesa. M-Pesa, yes. That means this person has what? Has the M-Pesa details of Brian Chira. And here, you hear him clearly say, Baby wangu ndi analipa, maka hako kamitu kwa nashanga, Eti what? Nini? Eti what? Ajia? Okoranga si umukumbu kumbu kumbu. Watu kuliungu tichi fangala. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Huyu ndo bibi yangu na simu zake ziko huko. 
Very clear. So if you are in love with this guy this much, and the kind of pity pity love we showed, we, we saw you showing, you keep on claiming that Shira had three phones, but we only know of one phone. That was an iPhone. So these three other phones and this, uh, when you got a SIM card, me was in Yambia, any other thing. You lost a friend, not even a girlfriend. Oh, by the way, bogey a friend. You know, we don't know how to call that. Bogey a friend. So, bo, girl, we bogey a friend. Two months ago, and anytime there is someone sensitizing the world that Chira did not die a normal death, the moment Babati is mentioned in some incidences, you get bitter, you start faking even. So even this one, I believe this guy is just faking. He's just trying to, to do this, this innocent old man wrong by implicating that they are the ones with the phone number. Because Chesoni came and told us that actually a file has been opened and uh, Josh is the only one who will be informed of the progress. And I said, okay. But the question is, the question is, so if this is the reality of the case, if this is the truth, okay, why don't you go to Shosh and tell Shosh, Shosh, kuna mtu anatumia simi ya mtoto wako na alionekana last seen three days. Ako kwa mpesa pia. Because apparently to Chesoni, Chira was very rich. According to, to Peter Kyoi again, Chira was very rich. Why? There was a man who was sending him 30,000 a month, a week, right? Mm -hmm. A week. Mm -hmm. 30,000 a week. There is another one who was sending, I don't know, 200 or is it 500,000 a month? So Chesoni knew the baby or the wife had so much money. Who is not tempted to ask? Well, you see? I mean, uh, shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo. Bye. See you. Mm, love you. We only Amina Mohammed. We are going to be KDF. Oh, KTN. Okay? So that can tell you one thing. That can only tell you one thing. Chesoni, you are trying to fix uh, this person so that Truth Wasdo can take his all minds there, his all everything there, and go look for this person. Because that means, do you know what Ch uh, Chesoni was trying to do? Chesoni was trying to pin this old man at the scene of murder. Are you getting me, people? Are you getting my point? Because why would you say somebody is actively using Branchina's SIM card and the phone was not found? So that means this is the murderer. And now, a picture was released a day just before. This is the picture that was released by one Zelek Momani, whereby Chira on the ground, in a different place apart from the accident area, let me again show you. You will forgive me, uh, Chesoni and the rest of the people, but I'll have to show people. Okay? So this is Brian Chira lying on the ground. Okay, YouTubers, this is Brian Chira lying on the ground. The reason as why I've put my hand here is because you don't want to see what I'm saying. Okay? And the pockets are open. So which means there is someone who was trying to get into the pockets of Brian Chira and did this wrong. When we put too much light here, you can see that he did not have his jacket on. The jacket disappeared apparently when the car hit him. Also, the shoes were not there. Okay? So my question was, who was in the pockets? So since they knew that I will question this, that is when now they are bringing me a different person. Very different person. Who apparently is operating what? Branchira's phone. So my question is, uh, as I continue, sorry, Facebookers. Okay? So look, Branchira pocket yaki kowazi. Now my question was, uh, so, 
if that is the case, if this is the case, that Chira, somebody was getting into his pockets and this boy was trying to struggle, was trying to, you know, and when you see the cloth here, Imerudi Vinyuma, which means, alikuwa na bebu waivi, kuenda kuwekwa your place. Okay? So nani alikuwa na mbeba ndionguo, itoke mbaka muscles, hizi zinaitua triceps. Triceps zote ziko inje. Nani alikuwa na vruta chira hivi, nguo ndio ipande viju. Unaona? So that means, this man with his big face like mine, means